Guilty Gear Strive. You smell that? Dust and plants everywhere. And, uh, you're happy about that. You try spending all day locked in a windowless room, then you'll get it. I was stuck in one for a hundred years. What'd you pull me out for, anyway? It's my fault you lost your power. You want it back, right? Look, I know it sounds cheesy, but... It'll make you a god. Does that intrigue you? Does it matter? Sure does. That's an awfully personal question. There's a reason behind this world. Things only ever start to exist when there's a reason for them to. Even me. As long as you exist, you are needed. By something. I was wondering if, for me, that something was you. Fallen for me, have you? Your power, at least. What else is there? I realize this may sound a bit contradictory now, but I've never been big on the idea of fate. So even if we only know, I don't know, 4% of what makes up the universe? Discovering the remaining 96% doesn't really interest me. Neither does wealth, honor, influence. The most important thing for me... ...is drama. What kind of story are you about to write for us? The god who made me did so with the tequila in hand. If he could do that, I can do anything. But what I want is simple. future. Well, that is interesting. Happy Chaos. Happy? My name. 
You're my boss. And I'm gonna be your sacrifice. Confirming Firefly's patrol logged is complete. Return to base, Firefly. Mr. Asuka. Hmm? I won't ask you to walk with your eyes closed, but try to save your curiosity for the guided tour. Oh, right. I really don't mean to be so uptight, but this is a highly restricted area. Which is, to be fair, exactly what you asked for. The most difficult room in the world to enter. Though I hope you don't expect five-star luxury. So it's just through this door? No, that room's just a room. You could just open the door and walk right out for a coffee. the antique, isn't it? The White House hasn't changed since the Crusades. It's got little shelters and hideaways all over the place. I'm rather used to this sort of environment. Meanwhile, I don't even know what's safe to touch.
Good. It hasn't changed. Oscar. Coming. This should suit me perfectly. Do you have many friends? I'm afraid that all private communication from this bunker is strictly forbidden. Signal blocking, I presume? That's right. Communication's less forbidden than it is impossible. This room uses 13th generation AES encryption, the highest standard of security in the universe. So, make your personal calls now, before your friends start to wonder where you've disappeared to. Oh, uh, thank you, but... I don't believe that will be necessary. He's awfully unassuming for the devil. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed to be honest. Don't panic. See? Sorry.
What are they up to in there? Chief, Secretary Dickinson has already arrived. That's why we're in such a hurry. Honestly, I'm not sure if this whole exercise is really worth our time. I mean, the Secretary is stronger than all of us agents combined. Yeah, he's pissed off that we let the gear maker into the compound. Being late may cost us some trust, sure, but skipping this training would cost us our lives. Tell that to Geo. A little early for moon watching, isn't it? Too gloomy indoors. It'll get a lot gloomier if you piss off the secretary. Come on, you've got a training exercise to get to. You recommended me for the Secret Service, remember? I read the brief, I know what I'm doing. Did it say anything about paying you to take a nap? You're so much stronger than I am, yet you still haven't earned this badge. Why is that, Giovanna? Because it looks incredibly stupid. I don't disagree, but don't go around saying that, got it? This was designed by the President himself. Did he design that ugly shirt, too? Enough already. Just prepare for your training. And button up your shirt. But then how will I catch a good man? Sure didn't work on me. Now, Asuka. I think I've got a good read on you. I've seen that you're a good man. The people who don't know you may say you're the devil, but it doesn't seem like you're looking to cause trouble. That's why I opted to grant your request. But now that I've done so... Mind telling me why you're really here? You said that you wanted to protect the Tome. Do you intend to remain within these walls forever? We aren't idiots. We realize that your surrender coincides with the G4 Summit.
And you'll be right under the representatives from the four most powerful nations in the world. So what exactly do you intend to do? Rather than protecting the tome, per se, I want to erase it from mankind's history. It's been done before. Are you familiar with Project Tir Nanag? That's just an urban legend. Fill me in. <sighs> People say there's a massive strategic weapon hidden somewhere within the White House. But that's a completely unfounded rumor. As the former president, Miss Bartholomew, you would know. It is indeed mere gossip. But what makes it a rumor of note? is that the truth is far more surprising. The Crusades may be over, but many sad relics of the era remain, lying dormant and undiscovered. Some of which are extremely dangerous. I consider it my duty to eliminate them all. Huh? And you intend to raise this issue in G4? The blame for the Crusades rests solely on my shoulders. I put humanity on the brink of extinction. There is very little difference between a good statue and an evil bystander. For too long, I've chosen to avert my eyes.
But if there are two things I truly need to erase from this world... They are the Tome of Origin. And soul bad guy. <laughs> 